Okay. Hi, Scorpio. No, oh, Capricorn, I'm sorry. Capricorn, this is your video. So I have to do this over because I done got way mixed up. Capricorn, this is your video. Capricorn, October 2024 for the sign of Capricorn. Are you serious? Is the deck in reverse? No. So why is this? Okay, so this is good. I don't know how it got in reverse, though. So it's five of pinnacles in reverse. Capricorn, that's a very good card, okay? So that is Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Strongest energy would be Taurus with that five of pinnacles in reverse. I got picked up like family energy right there. I don't know why. So I am looking at this card a lot. I look at these cards. Looks like a family unit or a family could be coming out of debt or coming out of financial lack. Having more money. Because it's a group of people. So that's what I'm reading. The way the card is here is five of pentacles in reverse. Capricorn, this is a good card. Really good card for you guys. I don't know why it was in reverse in the deck. And it's the only one, look. Because all the other cards are upright. So, yeah, and at the bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. So your perseverance, your determination is what's bringing a family or a group of people out of uh, lack and so that's what I'm saying I picked up his family so we have um, nine of wands Ari Leo Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck yeah your perseverance is going to bring you happiness you have the sun behind that nine of wands you're about to be extremely happy because your financial woes or financial debt load or something is over. Something's over for you guys. It's almost over. Usually the nine of wands gotta get to the ten of wands. But by then, like right now, you're at the nine of wands. You're so strong and determined to finish that um it just gets easier from here. Okay. But you guys are coming out of financial lack. Maybe you're going to bring your family out of financial lack. That's really what I'm seeing. I don't see just you coming out financially of uh, coming out financially of lack. Um, I see a unit or a group of people. So like when you get out of financial lack, you're also going to help others. It looks like or your family, you're going to help your family come out of that. You're very generous or you're going to help them as well because financial lack is over. For you, uh, Capricorn, it's over. And it's because of your determination, how strong you are, how resilient you are. At the bottom of the deck, you're strong. You're not letting nothing break you financially here. Okay? So with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, uh, you know, a Taurus could be helping you or someone could be helping you get out of debt or telling you what to do telling you what to invest in. They are a Taurus. And Taurus in the second house is assets, investments. Um, it could be stock markets there, um, gold, silver, all that kind of stuff. That's what I'm picking up, okay? Someone's looking for ways to grow their money or something like that. I'm talking about a male energy. It could be someone's dad or boyfriend or husband, okay? But anyway, with the Five of Pentacles in reverse, it just shows financial lack is over. You are going to have increase in money or prosperity, success, abundance. Um, you definitely could become affluent or opulent here. You guys could also, um, let me see. We got, Knight, what is this, Knight of Wands? What is this? Is 
and we got the full card it's something you're doing by you by you're not giving up by you moving forward persevering it's getting ready to bring you to this happiness happiness is right behind it. it's the sun card the best card in the deck all right the financial uh, freedom that you're about to experience is going to make you really happy. And it's all because of you persevering, not giving up. So I don't know if someone's becoming debt free or getting ready to eliminate their debt, especially with the nine of wands. But um, someone is, is um, getting ready to have like financial freedom or something like that. What else? Yeah, what is this? Nine of imps. Same card. Uh, again, nine of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Let me see what's at the bottom of this deck. Four of bats. Yeah, you are tired. Looks like you're tired. You want a break. You want to rest. But I feel like after you rest, you're back at it again. We have nine of wands in both uh, energies here, both decks. You're not giving up. And I see that financial freedom is yours. You're getting out of financial lack, whether that's filing bankruptcy or um, coming into a large lump sum of money, winning a lottery or hitting a jackpot or something like that. I'm serious, guys. You guys could have that kind of money coming in um, that's going to help you clear up your debt. Okay. I'm also thinking about student loans or something. You could be younger um, in your 20s or early 30s or something like that. But you are getting ready to clean up something. Your money's getting ready to get really good here, okay? Very abundant, very prosperous here. We have four of bats. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini at the bottom of this deck. Yeah, I just feel that you you might be a little bit tired or fatigued. Of course, with this card, it does talk about wounded soldier. Um, in traditional tarot, it talks about someone being a little bit tired, um, but they still persevere. They still keep going. You're there. The Five of Pentacles is already in reverse. So that's what I'm saying. Um, some of you guys are going to start seeing financial freedom this month because it's already in reverse. Okay, so you guys are aiming at that or that's your goal. You're close. You're almost there. So that's what I'm getting here. We'll use the other deck here because it's not turn. It's not a love reading at all. It's money and perseverance and determination and stuff. So let me see. What else do you want to tell the sign of Capricorn for um, their general message, October two thousand twenty-four? We have sweetness, happiness. Yeah, you guys are getting ready to be happy. Same thing I'm seeing in the other deck. Um, we have, we, right after that nine of wands, at the bottom of this deck, we got the sun card. They're ghosts, that's why they're standing on that side. They don't want the sun to see them. And I also get that vampire feeling too, or whatever's going on here. So yeah, what else? Mystery. Illumination, no, something is being brought to light on how to make more money, how to grow more money, faith. And last message, sadness, okay? So if you are sad or feeling bad about your financial situation, just know that things are gonna get sweeter and sweeter or better or something like that. Yeah, I do see um, sadness here, I see anxiety. There's different energies here, um, but there's happiness at the bottom of this deck, okay? I'm hearing sweet money. So I don't know if it's coming from a partner or a lover. Illumination. Success. Last one, guys. What is here for Capricorn? Reflection. Space. So I feel like when you guys are alone... You guys are getting ideas or you're thinking about money or how to make money. I keep seeing illumination. Okay. Mystery. i show you guys. All right. So anything else you want to tell them? Okay. Rejection. Okay. So someone could be sad because they're feeling like they're getting rejected or something. Again, happiness is here. 
someone you somebody don't even care if they are getting rejected so like that i mean financially since your read is turning out to be more financial you might get rejected for a loan or approval for a credit card or something like that i see this not gonna even bother you you still got happiness at the bottom of the deck guys yeah, you're not letting nothing stop you. Whoever you guys are, you're very strong. You're very resilient. The nine of uh, wands at the bottom of, of the deck here. And then it came out of the other deck. Um, you're not giving up. And that's why you guys are coming out of financial lack. So until next time, guys, take care.